Hey everyone, it's Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise and welcome to week number eight of my Project Life 2014. If you want to catch any of my other Project Life videos, I'll have the playlist to all my weekly Project Life videos under this video. So I'm going to be using the March Project Life kit from Studio Calico, which was called Office Hours. I went ahead and got my pictures and my cards arranged just to speed this process up a little bit. I ended up doing my first page on the back of week number eight. It's just a design A, then I have a design H, and then I have another design A. I just used the front side of that last design A. Now I'm just gonna work on embellishing. So this card I want to be my kind of week in review card. So I pulled out these Snap Studio Love Stories stickers and I didn't like them so I decided to go with this label shape. I'm going to write week number eight in here and these labels came with little tabs on the edges so I just cut those off. I didn't like the little hangy pieces that aren't really supposed to be there. In this label I want to write week number eight and so I'm like looking through my supplies trying to figure out what I'm going to write this in because I've already used a lot of the alphabets that I got lately. I've used up most of the E's so I didn't want to go that route. So I decided to pull out this stamp set. It's just the fancy mini alphas from SP and Company that I designed and it's perfect for small sized things. It works for this. I grabbed a coral ink pad because this layout has a lot of corals in it and I also ended up grabbing a mint colored ink pad as well since this label was kind of a minty color. So I wrote out week with those alphabets and now I'm going to write the number eight using mint colored ink and the stamps that came with Studio Calico. So these ones said fact number and has all the numbers so I just grabbed the little eight and wrote it next to that week. I still had some space on here so I decided to grab my roller date stamp and stamp the days of this week. I looked at my PDF that I have printed out. I'll have a link below to that PDF so you can print that out if you want to know the week numbers and dates for each week. Some of the edges of the twos didn't show up so I grabbed my journaling pen. It's just a Project Life journaling pen to do the little dashes and then finish off those twos. Now I'm going to attach this label to my card and then cut off that little end piece so it looks like it's just hanging off of the edge. That same journaling pen I'm going to do my week in review, kind of just an overview of what happened this week. I felt like the card needed something, so I jazzed it up a little bit. I grabbed one of the SP Mini Flares. This is one from the Clownfish Ombre set. It's just a set of different ones that have a gradient on them. And then I grabbed the stamp from the Project Life kit. It's just a little butterfly, and I stamped it in really light pink ink just to make it a little subtle decoration. I'm going to move on to this card. And this is just a picture of Emma and me snuggling. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I trimmed it down just a little bit so that it fit on the card better. It didn't hang off the edges or anything. Now I'm just looking through my bowl here. And these are bowls that I showed in my Organize Me Friday video last week, so I'll have the link to that below. I pulled out this wood veneer and I'm just writing on it with my journaling pen and our status is going to be super snuggly and I had to look up how to spell snuggly to make sure I was spelling it right. I'm the worst speller, so I had to pause the video. I'm just attaching this piece of blue cardstock I had left from a different card that I had cut down. And I'm just gonna write that it was just Emma and me snuggling. I'm gonna have that underneath the picture just a little bit and hanging out. And now I can write on the little blue piece. So I absolutely love this next card with the pink stripes on it. I'm just going to leave it mostly plain. I'm doing some journaling about that picture of Maya right of this journaling card and I didn't want to leave it completely plain. I felt like it needed one little thing so I pulled out one of the bowls and found this little heart from one of the add-on kits from Office Hours. It's just a chipboard heart. Again this week I included a before and after picture of something I organized. I'm just trying to get our house completely organized this year so I'm slowly working on every drawer and every room pulled out another one of those little labels and I'm writing what drawer this is. It's just our baking supplies. And I'm going to attach this one with a stapler. Since monthly kits and core kits seem to not come with a lot of 4x6 cards, you got to be creative sometimes if you use smaller pictures in these 4x6 spaces. So I cut down a piece of cardstock 4x6 and then I decided to use a 3x4 journaling card. 
as kind of a label shape. So I cut it in half and I'm just going to use part of it. And then I can do my journaling on this part of the card. And that way it just jazzed up my space. So I stopped the video so I could do my week number eight tutorial. And I have that video for you soon. And when I was done with my tutorial, I thought I had started the camera again and I didn't. So I missed filming a couple of the things that I did. Just look at the end. I'll show everything close up and you'll see what I didn't get recorded on here. This next card, I use the other half of that journaling shape to do my journaling. I actually messed up when I was writing, so that's why there's that blue sequin there. It just covers up the little part that I messed up writing. Now for these icicle pictures, I grabbed another one of the label shapes. I just cut off the end of it so that it would be flush against the side of my picture, and I'm just doing my journaling. For this next card, I'm pulling out some items from my Freckled Fawn kit. It's just one of those vellum stickers. I thought it worked really well with the picture. And then I also had one that said something about we ate here. And I decided to use that on these food pictures. And I pulled out a little label shape so I could write. We went to the mall and had pretzels at the mall. That's one of our things. Every time we go to the mall, we have a pretzel. And I'm off camera here, but I'm layering that little triangle sticker with that label. Since this card had so much white space, I decided to journal about some of the other pictures that are around this journaling card. So I'm using little arrow shapes to kind of designate which journaling goes with which pictures. The first arrow is one of those cork accents from the March Studio Calico Kit. And then this big here arrow I used for the second part of the journaling is a wood veneer from the Freckled Fawn March Kit. I just want to put a bigger title on there so I pulled out the thickers that came in the March Studio Calico Project Life kit. These smaller green letters that I'm using are from Echo Park, just an old Echo Park kit that I had. I cut this section from a 12 by 12 alpha sticker sheet. I spelled out the word together with those and then I have this little you and me wood veneer. I think this is from Gossamer Blues February kit and I wanted to include it so I was just figuring out where I wanted to put that. I decided to put it at the bottom so I'm just attaching that and then my layout is done. I'll show you all of it up close now. So I didn't film that bottom right card. I just added the fact number and the butterflies to that. This was part I didn't film, so I just added a cork shape and a round label shape I just stapled on with the tiny attacher there. And then on the back side, I kept it pretty plain. I added a freckled fawn sticker to that photo and then did my journaling inside that journaling card. And the only other thing I didn't film was this clear sheet on that last three by four on the side. I just added some sequins to that clear piece. So that is it for week number eight. I will be back later this week with two more weekly process videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos and be sure to check out my blog daily for projects and tutorials. As always, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.